Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. So I'm sitting here and I'm already in my pajamas because I had to open the store this morning and I'm pretty tired, but it's Friday, even though it doesn't feel like it to me. It feels like Tuesday to me, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I thought it would be fun if I filmed a Sephora haul for you guys today and it is an itty bitty one because I honestly didn't really take advantage of the VIB Rouge sale very much. Um, one thing one thing. I got myself one thing. So anyway, it's a very small haul, as I said, but I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys. So that's what we are going to do today. The first thing is the thing that I redeemed my points for. This was a hundred point perk, which is actually a really, really good hundred point perk. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. That's a mouthful. In the shade Sellout. And the packaging is super duper cute. And then it's just a deluxe size of their liquid lipstick, so it's in a different shaped container instead of being like in the tapered one that the melted ones usually come in. And I've never tried any of the Too Faced liquid lipsticks before, so I'm very excited. And the Sage sh Shade Sellout, that's a tongue twister, the Shade Sellout is just like one of those nude brown colors that everybody is so fond of, which is perfect because that's exactly what I would want. And it's right here on my hand so just kind of like a terracotta color maybe a little bit lighter than the other ones that I have but really pretty looks very wearable and I am really excited to have redeemed some points for that and I really like the packaging like I can't justify keeping this but this is cuter than this this is just exciting because it's the product but this is so super cute anyway that's what it looks like and it's called sellout so it's just kind of brown oh my phone is asking me if I want to install a software update right now, like right in the middle of this video. Okay, so that was fun. My screen like went totally blurry and I had to like poke at you guys. So sorry about that. I'm um, not going to edit that out because that is real life and that's just hilarious. That's the most random thing that's ever happened in the middle of me trying to film, I think. Other than like friends trying to accidentally like tell you guys where I live, which I don't try to tell everybody where I live. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. So this is not something that I bought in the VIB Rouge sale. I actually purchased this right before I found out when the dates were for the sale. So I'm kind of bummed because I paid full price and this was probably the most expensive single eyeshadow I've ever bought. Um, this is by NARS and it is, let's see, the Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in the shade Regal, Rigel, I don't know, R-I-G-E-L. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. I don't know how to get this out of the package. Oh, I should probably show you guys the package. So that's what it looks like. And it's just a single eyeshadow. This is what the packaging itself looks like. As you can see, it's dirty because I did already use this because I had this sitting here for a little while and I thought I should show it to you guys, but at the time it was the only thing I had. So I just let it sit here. And it is a very, very pretty color. It's kind of like a rose gold. It's kind of like kind of like a gold, I don't know, it's gold. It's definitely a shimmery metallic gold. And I do like it very much. Um, it swatches kind of similarly to other things that I own once I have it home and compare it. But there's a swatch of it right there. It's super metallic. It's super pretty. It's a really good eyeshadow color. So I'm happy that I have it. I don't think I'm going to like go on a mission to like pick up more of, I'm getting it dirty because it's that rubberized packaging. I don't think I need like a collection of these by any means, but this one color is really nice and it's like almost the color of my skin, but it's a little bit pinker. So anyway, that's that there. And then on to the one thing I purchased during the VIB Rouge sale. This had been sold out for ever um, in stores and online and I had been notified twice that it went back in stock and couldn't afford it and then when I got the notification that it was back in stock and the sale was on I was like okay this is the thing I'm getting so this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette and I've read very very mixed reviews on this product um, I did get to swatch it in a Sephora and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous when I swatched the tester palette so I thought to myself when I had the opportunity to purchase it, especially for 20% off, that why wouldn't I? This is what the front of the package looks like, and it's super pretty. I really like this. I don't know if it's supposed to be seaweed or hair 
what's going on there, but it's a really pretty ombre from like light blue to dark blue with this like thing, waves, maybe it's waves, I don't know, whatever it is, that's what's happening there. And then on the inside, you have three different colors of powder. There's sunlight, filtered light, and moonlight. I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror. Okay. Sunlight, filtered light, moonlight. And then this one is like a matte powder. It's like, I don't know if it's white or banana. It kind of looks yellow in this lighting. But it's supposed to be a matte powder for highlighting. And that one, I don't even know if I swatched in the store. Honestly, I was less interested in this part than I was the others. But it feels like a nice finishing powder. I think it's supposed to be amazing for setting the under eyes. You can't even see it at all. It's like there's nothing there. But it feels fine. Um, I don't really have a lot of setting powders. So this one's cool. Whatever. Um, I really bought it for the two highlights anyway. So the first one, what did I say it was called? Sunlight. Okay, let's swatch sunlight. I'm so excited to have this, you guys. It's like the happiest thing right now. I hope I love it as much as I did in the store. So there is sunlight on my hand. Um, it's a very shimmery highlight. It does have a little bit of a glitter particle thing going on, but it's very faint. Hopefully it shows up on the face, because that's one of the things that I read, was that it swatches nicely with your fingers, but that it doesn't show up when people were trying to apply it. I don't know. It looks like a pretty good highlight to me, and it definitely has a nice texture in the pan, so... I'm optimistic. And then the other one I think is called Moonlight. Yeah, the other one is called Moonlight. And I'll swatch that right underneath. This one is more like Opal by Becca, I think, but a little bit lighter. Really pretty too. There's that one. It's more like a rose gold highlight. They're hard to see. My lighting is awful too, but I think you can see the reflect at least. So that one is Moonlight and I think they're gorgeous. And I'm really happy that I have this. I think it's super pretty. So that is my itty bitty Sephora haul summed up on the back of my hand. Not a lot of stuff, but I thought they were really pretty. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you'd like. And I thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.